Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, let's continue our talk about Microsoft Edge. The other questions that I get asked all the time is about speed, compatibility, and battery life. Edge versus other browsers. Mainly here we'll compare it with Chrome, which is the most popular browser. So a lot of people are asking me, is Edge better uh, at browsing? Is Edge faster, uh, slower, which one is, you know, uh, in performance and battery life better, and what uh, is it's all about uh, in compatibility on the web, is uh, Edge real, real good, is it going to, you know, because a lot of people come from the old Edge, and a lot of people will kind of consider the new Edge as being like the old Edge, and I got to say the legacy Edge that came with Windows 10 had some problems and issues with some websites. There were websites that had a hard time really working well with the legacy edge as the code base was different. And the new edge doesn't have these problems because the new edge being based on the Chromium code is of course more up to date and compatible with everything because it is kind of a standard if you want. So the technologies that are used are the same types of technologies that will come out of Google Chrome. And let's face it, Google Chrome is right now defining the technologies of the web. Because it's the most popular browser, websites will look at how they can actually display their content in uh, a way that works with as many people as possible. So, of course, they'll be looking at Google Chrome as their example because it's the most dominant browser. In that respect, the new Edge is as good as the, um, as the um, Google Chrome browser because it follows the same technologies for the most part. The other question has to do with speed. Is the Edge browser faster than Google Chrome? That's a tough question to answer. It is technically uh, dependent on who you ask. <laughs> uh, technically, Microsoft says that Edge is faster and also has better battery life on laptops and tablets, for example. That is uh, what the claim of Microsoft is. Google Chrome has had its share of rant over time because of its abusive use of RAM memory and sometimes runaway processes. And it's known and it's been known to often be a battery hog. I noticed one simple fact here uh, without really nothing scientific. Uh, I noticed that when Google Chrome is working, my computer has a tendency to have the fans running a little more than when I use Microsoft Edge, which will tell me that Google Chrome might be using a little more processing than Microsoft Edge at times. So it is possible that Edge is uh, slightly faster and easier on the battery life. And that, with, I'm, it's, it's not my tests, it's uh, a, an opinion and, um, and it's you know, also uh, mixed in with what Microsoft tells us that maybe we believe or not. Um, as for uh, battery life, it, if of course it is less um, demanding battery life automatically will also be better because the less the browser will use in resource on your PC, the less battery technically it should use also at the same time. But it's a very different thing and it's very complex to test this because there are different content on websites and we don't go to the same websites necessarily and always have the same thing actually appear. There needs to be a kind of a sandbox test with websites that are identical and, and uh, that are really um, you know controlled for this to really be a valid test in general. Uh, but I would say that uh, it is possibly as fast. Um, I use Edge once again. I like Edge. I find that it's extremely fast browser and um, I possibly um, you know, just if you look at the, the start speed and everything, I think that it's, uh, in general, um, it seems to be a little zippier and, and, and better. But overall, you know, if, uh, if it's not better, it's at least as good. And um, you can test it out. Maybe try a few things. Uh, go out on some of the websites. 
use uh, Chrome for a while and then use Edge and compare battery life on your devices depending on what browser you use. And uh, But for the compatibility of what's on screen, the content, um, it should pretty much be uh, at par with Google Chrome in the viewing of the websites. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.